favors Denial because I think they're the best team at trading in all of competitive Call of Duty. Here is the team card currently. Hook replays Temp and Slasher. Expect to see Hook rush right up that map and just trade kills with whoever is available on his team. On the other side of things, Naga Fen, Royalty, Swanee, and Remy. Swanee's got an uphill <laughs> battle in this game, man, with all the long-range pressure that Slasher's uh, Morris can bring. Well, here we go. We're going to go straight into the Slash and Destroy. And on board with Slasher as he takes a shot. We'll miss it. Hook, though, will get a oh, shot as well. Slasher, that's already a two versus four. Remy will trade away, though. Oh, oh Slasher. my God! Already picks up two snipes. The final kill coming in, and that's exactly it right there. That is the aggression that will pay Didn't off. Didn't even see the out at that Look, point. Hook gets first blood. Slasher completely predicts the push down a street. Able to pick up two kills while dropping one shot. And this is my example of saying Denial's always ready for a trade. You can see the aggression from that sub player dropping down on the remaining Epsilon player. And Temp finds the final kill from Yellow Catwalk. 1-0 lead for Denial. That was very, very quick, and there's really not what Epsilon needed to get back into this. Yeah. But on board with Remy now, let's see what he can do as they push forward. Epsilon could do with a little bit of a momentum to push, kind of help themselves. Remy, though, looks like he's on bomb. He's gonna get slashes. That's nice a good kill. pick, but it has been traded. It's now a three versus three. And here's that example of going for the trade. Hook unable to find the kill, but typically Hook would hit those shots and pick that one up. Swanee and Temp, or Swanee versus Temp, and replays picks up a nice kill there on replays. Temp last alive. One versus two. And he's going to see one there. Oh, if he picked up Remy, that would have been huge. He's going to know about this play. Oh, this, this could work out absolutely perfectly in his favor. He puts a nade down on the player. On Swanee. Weakens him, not able to pick up the kill. Puts some shots down on Swanee. Beautiful cover there of his teammate planting the bomb. He spotted one player moving through the cuts. It's going to be, Temp is going to be, after this, he's oh, going to be sitting there going, yeah. could have had Remy. Yeah. Almost had, Sw had Swanee as well. Yeah. The nade could have hit. You know what? That was a great play by him. It's just because he was outnumbered, he couldn't take the risk as much as he wanted to. He almost made that. That was so close. Yeah, Brycey, I got, I got some worries, though, for the Epsilon North American fans still. Obviously, Epsilon winning that round, but it was the Remy and Swanee show. They currently have all five kills on their team. Royalty and Nagafen need to begin heating up right now. They cannot let this game get out of hand. Well, let's jump on board with Denial. Look at his hook. He got the first blood last time. Let's see if he can do anything this time. Slasher, you can hear that sniper rifle once again kind of popping off. Replays will be the first man to really push this map. Let's turn on our COD vision for you so you can see exactly where the opponents are beginning to push from. Bomb has been planted. 4v4. Who's going to strike first blood? As you see, there's a flank there. It was Remy who came around, but he got taken down. But Rorty will trade that one away. And Rorty being super aggressive. He's looking for him. He needs to make that shot. Oh. No, he's going to take it down. He has to get out. Looking for him. He's still so tagged. He's still alive, though. Still running. How is he alive? I don't know. He, he got drilled by that nade. Had a couple shots put down on him. The push towards the site now begins. Replays able to pick off two players. An absolutely clutch play. No, royalty, royalty on the bomb. It's now a one on one. Slasher versus Royalty. Royalty beginning to search for him. Can't find him as of yet. Eight seconds remaining. He's not going to be able to do it. It yeah, appears the challenge coming in from Slasher. Royalty oh, turns. Oh, wow. On. That's that high sense. Yeah, that's 12 Doesn't sensitivity matter, for you. Picks up two kills that round, but man, replays just save that for denial. Rory, how on earth did he stay alive in all of those situations? I have no idea. That he should have been dead. That was mind boggling. But there we go, 2 1 now. Denial will go into the lead in the search and destroy as we switch over to the attacking team of Epsilon. I'm pretty sure that's three straight first bloods at the moment for denial. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I believe Slasher got the first pick in round number one. Either way, though, they're up 2 1 at the moment. Slasher finds another sniper kill to start off round four. Royalty getting aggressive. Look at that 12 sensitivity just <laughs> completely spinning around. I think I'm going to get sick. The fact people can be that accurate. Yeah, on 12 cents. You know, I was talking to Octane about this. Octane actually plays on six, and I meant because I, I asked, who who even plays close to that sensitivity? He said, I think I'm the next highest at six, which is absolutely nuts. So double the sensitivity of the about to go down here. player. Now two versus two. Royalty going up against him. Does pick it off now. One versus one. It's temp versus Royalty. Bomb is down, he has the advantage. I don't really want to see him get too aggressive here. He's going to see him as well. Temp gets oh. him. Temp will take him down. 12 cents is not enough to win that gunfight. Yeah, you, you can see right there. He spanned straight onto him, but he wasn't able to get the snapshot. Yep. He was moving too quick. Yeah, Temp winds up falling. Royalty was on a six streak. So I mentioned prior to uh, round number three starting up that Royalty really needed to heat up for his team. He did just that. But unfortunately for the Epsilon fans, they wind up losing yet again another one-on-one. -on -one. The Wolfpack up 3-1.
Well, they're now going on to the attack as well, and I'm probably going to watch Slasher as he will be using that sniper rifle. Let's see if, if he can get a quick first oh, pick. Don't do it, Slasher. Oh, he's looking for them as well. I think he did see the players pushing him, so he probably will call that out. His teammates will go defensive, trying to hold it off. Temp replays and get it, but Remy will answer back. Good trade coming out of oh, slot. Remy, Remy picks up another headshot there on Slasher. Now a two on two. Hook finds oh. the one player top yellow. The push through bottom jungle. It's going to be Remy versus the final player of Denial, and he gets taken out. Slasher Four called that one. out. He saw it. He's like, they're coming. They're coming aggressive. Denial posted up. They're like, all right, let's take him. What did I tell you, man? Denial is just so good at reacting to enemy pushes and completely shutting them down, striking the first two kills yet again. I don't, keep, I don't want to keep harping on him, but 19 and 40 in map number one there from Nagafen. Now 0 and 5 to start game two. Let's hop on board with him, see what's going wrong. Possibly if he could strike first blood, that would be absolutely yeah, crucial. He needs, he needs some confidence. kind of momentum here. Yeah. So this is something that we, we've spoke about at sort of length during this weekend. Just not really, it, it's their mental game that you know players in the team are worried about themselves. That they feel like it's it's difficult for them. Oh my oh, goodness, oh, Slasher oh. takes Nagafen straight down, zero and six. It, 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 if it's not all five first bloods, or six first bloods, then it's five first bloods so far this game for Denial, doing a fantastic job of giving themselves the numbers advantage. Uh, not so uh, often mistake you saw right there from Hook challenging that gunfight when he really didn't need to. Replays and squad left in a three on three. Remy could go against Slasher here. This is very, very tense. Big pinch coming in as well. And Slasher will go down. Played. Numerical advantage. It's Temp who's going to look for a player, but there's nobody there. Rordy's playing on the bomb, and he's actually going to back off now. This is Epsilon's to lose. Oh, absolutely. They have beautiful positioning here on this site. You can see a challenge coming down from replays, trying to put some fire down on the Epsilon players. Picks up a kill on Remy. Surely let's not. take a look at where replays is at the moment. They're not even checked. Yeah, they he's just trying checked. to stay alive. Go back to let's head back on the board with Temp. He's, got it, he's, he's got able it, he's got to it. get the. Oh no, he got taken out. Oh, that was close. Epsilon clutching up in the final moments. I was trying to see whether or not they were going to peek it. I'll be honest. And with you. royalty. He yeah. knew. Royalty, major play right there. Stepping up for his team yet again. Taking him out. That had to be in the last fraction of a second. Yeah, it was I didn't so want to start close. screaming and freaking out. No, with that's the bomb it's actually one of the reasons I switched off of him because I yeah. wanted to check the peaks first. Yeah, I, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to like overdo it on that. But close play, smart decision from Temp. He noticed the bomb was actually planted on Yellow Catwalk side. Thought, hey, if I could try to hide behind the site, maybe they won't be able to spot me. In the final moments of royalty stepped up for his team. Epsilon still down two rounds and another first blood to Slasher. That's like oh. for this game. This looks like this should be all about Denial now. They're getting pushed down, but Nagafen will be able to try that way. Breaks his donut. And this is the chance, the time they need him to do it as well. But they're heavily pushed. They're heavily outnumbered. If this bomb goes down, it could be good night. It's just too much work to do. Nagafen and Swanee. A combined 3 of 10 in this search and destroy. Both struggling. Picks up another kill there on replays. The two on two is now underway. Slasher and Hook beginning to rotate. Around yellow, not able to spot Nagafen yet. They did hear him. Slasher picks up the kill. Swanee left in the one on two, missing the shots, and just Slasher rips him in half. 5 2 round lead. Denial one round away from going up 2 0 in this series. Here we go. Kalen managed to do it here. It hasn't been the greatest showing from Epsilon. This is not the team that beat Optic Gaming yesterday. No, not, not at all, I see. Denial are just playing so well, and it's it's something that I'm, I'm kind of curious about in terms of team chemistry. For me, Denial seemed to have it in spades. Epsilon do not. I mean, coming into this weekend, I, I thought that if there was three teams I could take it home, which everyone was really talking about, would be obviously Optic Gaming, FaZe, and Denial. And right now, if this is how Denial is going to play all weekend long, I can 100% see them having a chance to take home the Grand Finals as Hook picks up three with one spray transfer. Poor positioning there from the boys of Epsilon. They get caught right in the ASM1 gunfire of Hook. Now Nagafen needs to pull off a 1v3 clutch. Considering he hasn't had the best series so far, there's maybe a little bit of saving grace. But look at this. There's a, actually, there's a hunt. The and wolf pack is on the prowl. Yeah, this is exactly what makes Denial so look at them lethal go. in Search and Destroy. It's perfect communication. They, they, won't be, they won't be 10 feet away from each other for the rest of this entire round. It they is, will make sure that if he, if he kills one, he has to take down all three in the same spray. Look, look at the rotation back. It's yeah. so easy. They spot him. They go, all right. Let's They're move determined. Over here. They're like, anything that happens, we're just going to trade. Yep. They're also just going to react. It is a genuine wolf pack prowling the S and D. Yeah. They spot him at top yellow. The push on Nagafen begins. He winds up falling. Six two. Six to two. Denial really just making it look easy. Hook with the ace in the final round. And 
Ricey, I mean, I think I kind of called that prior to that SND starting. I, I, denial scares me on the map recovery. They just, they have perfect gameplay for it, perfect play style. For me, this is pretty much done now. I actually can't see Epsilon winning either this third map. I, it doesn't really matter for me. They're, they're kind of dead in the water. Even looking in the booth now, we can actually see. Yeah. I, I don't see any life there. Game number three is going to be comeback uplink. Hook and Temp are absolute beasts at that map and game mode. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere when we come back. Game number three.